Hi, my name is Digital Embrace. I'm going to show you how to work in the Roll Your Own Pseudonaut lab puzzle and create a pseudonaut. One of the easiest way to work on this is when you first open it, it's this big loop of A's, right? So how do you get started? I like to use the magic, the uh, magic glue here, this tool. So click on it, and we're going to create a stem to start with. So let's do a stem with seven nucleotides. So I, I have to click and then roll along here, and I want seven. They have to match. The number has to match. There's seven. Leave a big loop here, however big you want. And I'm going to move this up, and we're going to do seven more. So there's six, and then when I click seven, they all snap together. And that then also changes the target mode, and I'm currently in target mode. So now I'm going to freeze, because it takes a long t it takes like 10 seconds to do each recalculation because it's a complicated algorithm here for the sooner not so it's better to freeze and do it all at once much quicker so I'm going to fill this in with my pairs that I want put the GC here then unfreeze and we'll let it calculate and you'll see that we then have a stem and then it, with the stem then we want to create the pseudo knot so I'm still currently in target mode And there we go. So now I'm going to, um, yes, I'll stay in this. Um, now I want to create the pseudo knot. So again, I'm going to freeze. One of the good ways to do this is just use a bunch of GC. So I'll put in the G here and a couple of Gs down here. And then I'll put in the Cs, corresponding Cs, to create the GC pairs and unfreeze. And it's going to take about 10 seconds here while we let that fold. And then once it's done the calculations, we'll go into target mode, I'm sorry, natural mode, so you can see what the pseudonaut looks like. And then next thing we'll do is we'll have to make this barcode here. Okay, so now it says here's a pseudonaut, and we want to satisfy all six of these requirements before we submit it. So we go into natural mode, and there is our pseudonaut we want. So I'm going to go back into target mode and make our barcode. You have to put in a unique barcode here on these seven for each design so that the researchers are able to identify the sequence. And we need it to be a, um, in a hairpin. It helps with the experimental process also to slow degradation. So again, I'm going to freeze just because it's quicker. And put in a couple of GC and put in some AU and unfreeze to let that calculate. Once that's done, then our last piece will be to deal with the no more than five A's in a row. And again, that's also part of the experimental process. It can create problems if there's more than five of the uh, adenosine in a row. So we just, there we go. And again, I can go into natural mode and see the pseudo knot. So our last thing we're going to do is place um, to break up these A's. So I'm gonna again freeze. And how many did I leave here? It looks like I left six. So I'm gonna have to do one of these. And then I'll stick these on here. Let it calculate. And then we should be ready to submit. Then we should have our pseudo knot and all of our conditions met. And then I'll show you how to uh, look at other players' designs is the last thing that I'll look at on this. It's a little slow calculating. There we go. Now we're going to submit. Uh, you can use lots of any kind of naming you want. I like to use my name because then later it's easier to find uh, in the design list. And if you go into submit and it tells you that you haven't met one of the conditions that needs it, you need to go back in and meet something. And then it says the barcode is no longer unique because it was used in the design that was just submitted. So if I were to make a change to this, then I, would, I can make changes and then do a new barcode and submit. Now for anyone who's new, the way you look at other designs is you go over to this right-hand menu and you can reset here and you can copy or paste in and here is where you go into designs. Re reset would be as if you wanted to... Once you do the magic glue, you have that... It stays in target mode there. In target mode, so you could either do magic glue again and, and change those, you can actually undo them, or you could uh, reset would be another way to do that. So you could uh, go into another design here through the list. Let's look at one of Voltor's. And you click that, 
in order to see their sequence. And it's perfectly fine. If you're a new player, it's perfectly fine to take other players' designs and modify them and submit it, but just always give attribution to the original design. And I'm waiting, and I'm waiting. And my laptop's getting a little overheated. Cause I'm... There we go. I'm going to close out of this. Now, it opens target mode. Got to go into natural mode so you can actually see it. Wow, there's a big one. So how do you look at all that? Press L on your keypad, and it will change it into the, the non-conflict mode. So say you think, well, this is a little too much. I want to get rid of these. So it's going to free, let's freeze that, and let's do a C here, and then an A on this one, and then unfreeze. And this time I didn't have to calculate because I had already done that, so it was already cached. And it doesn't have to. Rec My laptop doesn't have to recalculate for that one. So then you would have your new design, and you can press L again to go into the other shape. You can do it. You can do it either way. Go back and forth. When you it doesn't matter which mode you're in. You submit. So if I want to publish, oh, see, it's telling me I forgot. I need a barcode. So let's change something down here in the barcode. Uh, let's do an AU there. Now we're gonna have to wait on it to calculate. What I'm gonna do, it, I know that was Voltor's uh, design number eight, so I'm just gonna put Voltor eight mod to give attribution to the original design. And we're waiting, and we're waiting. Okay, there we go, so now I can submit. I'm going to put Vol uh, Voltor 8 mod. If you have any questions, uh, post in the lab design. There's a comment section where you can post your questions or you can come into chat and ask questions. I hope that was of help to you and thank you for playing Eterna.